Hello and uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, EEPROM eraser alternatives. Um, so I'll be showing you uh, a bit of a discovery that I've made uh, in relationship to uh, EEPROM erasers. Um, let me just quickly uh, tell you what, um, what the problem is. So here is a example of EEPROM memory. Um, this memory is something that you can program, but you can also uh, erase it. Um, unfortunately, the erase method is a little bit convoluted because this uh, memory has got a quartz window, and if you blast some uh, UV light on this window, uh, you, can, you can clear this memory. Um, in fact, I don't often uh, I don't often use those those EEPROM memories because I do have my own uh, EEPROM emulator. So most of the time, when I when I experiment with any device that requires an EEPROM, I will first start uh, by using an EEPROM emulator, um, and only when I'm done with the EEPROM emulator or with writing the the firmware, um, I, uh, I'm at the point where I need to uh, program a real uh, EEPROM memory. Um, and occasionally, of course, although most of the EEPROMs, when I buy them, they come empty, um, occasionally you have to uh, erase them. And to erase them, of course, you need the, uh, the machine to do it, or the device to, to do the, the erase. And um, there's plenty of them, you can buy them on eBay. Um, there are also small devices, um, 30 bucks, uh, gets you a, a small uh, EEPROM eraser or EEPROM uh, erasing machine with a timer built in. So it's not really a, a cost problem. Um, but so it happens that I actually needed it very urgently. I wanted to have it on uh, on the day. Um, so, you know, what's the alternatives and um, what can you use? Well, anything that generates the correct UV light or correct type of UV light. Um, so from Past experience, um, I know that some money testing machines um, generate the, the correct uh, type of UV. So what I've done is I went to local charity shops. Uh, you know, those shops are kind of a um, good source for all sorts of gadgets and all sorts of cool stuff that people toss away. Um, but I found this... Um, I think this is like a black light, um, something to test um, test money. Uh, it's a small device. It's powered by four uh, AA batteries. Uh, in fact, it was missing the flap here. I just put some plastic um, and, and a piece of strip of metal to close the contacts. Um, so this is how it looks like. See, small small device. Um, the the key. Um, um, the key thing to look for is a device that has a has a bulb, has this sort of glass bulb. So we know those those devices generate the correct type of UV. Um, I mean, it says clearly on this lamp, do not look into directly into it. I mean, it is um, it is not good for your eyes to look directly into this light. So you're not supposed to be looking into it. But I'm just going to show you on the camera what happens when I flick the button. You can see the lamp starts and it's generating. Uh, UV light. So what you can do is um, simply put it over the EEPROM memory. As you, as you can see, I used some hot glue and a piece of plastic to uh, keep this thing upright. Um, you leave it like this for a couple of minutes and the memory is, is empty. Um, simple as that. Um, in fact, um, to show you how, how good this machine is, I've got some statistics. Um, so this is the statistics that I've taken uh, erasing a couple of uh, EEPROM memories that I had in my drawer. Um, and as you can see, it takes about 210, maybe 230 seconds, so just over three minutes for the memory to go from fully programmed to uh, fully empty. So in, in about three minutes, I can have that EEPROM memory erased. Um, so this is my um, EEPROM, EEPROM erase alternative <laughs> and um, I would say the best part of the whole thing is is the cost. <laughs> so that's the label from the from the machine. I paid two dollars and 99 cents to have my uh, 30 dollars machine alternative and you can have it now because 
You can just pop into your local charity store and uh, buy yourself one of those. That's it. That's pretty much all I had. Um, thank you for watching. And if you want to know how I created those statistics, how I created the graphs for my uh, EEPROM eraser, um, you're going to have to subscribe to my channel and um, come back in the future when I post um, a future video where I'll show you exactly how, how I'm creating those statistics. Thanks for watching. Bye.